Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we talk about is there potential for a stock market crash to be coming our way again. Now I was actually away on Thursday and Friday and this is why I've not actually been able to make a video really with the big massive decline that's been going on. I'm currently actually setting up a rental property that's going to be going out for rent uh, within the next month. So I actually had to go there just to paint some stuff and uh, literally I was painting the walls Thursday, Friday and I went, it's typical. like. The day I go away, the stock market starts going down and I can't make a video about it. And I was trying to keep up to date with like where the stock market was at, like it was 1% down, 2% down, 3%. I was trying to go on my phone and like add paint on my hands and like I was going on it so much, I was getting paint all over my phone. And I was like, this is a nightmare. So I was trying to keep like up to date what was going on in the stock market as well. And I was like, oh, if, if I only could make a video about it. So uh, literally I got home, first thing I do is go make a video on it. And this is why we're going for a double, double upload today talk about the stock market and what's really going on with the stock market right now. So the first thing I'm going to say is, you know, don't worry, don't, don't get too stressed out, out about it, you know, stay calm. When we realistically look at it, is the stock market going to go into a, a position where it was at in, you know, March, April time? No. Like, even though I've said on this channel for like the last kind of couple of months, the stock market is getting into a bit of a scary position. And now, you know, the, the the reality has really hit the stock market and we're kind of getting that, um, you know, volatility, volatility coming back in September. You know, the stock market can't go up forever. We've been on a good run and it probably too good of a run. And it was about time we actually saw some red days come back. And uh, if you kind of thought the stock market was always going to go up, you know, it's a bit of a shock to the system for you guys. Um, you know, I've got a lot of new investors on the channel and hopefully this video, what I'm about to do, and guide you through what you should be really looking at really does help you out so for that guys if you can smash the like button subscribe if you're new around here and we'll get stuck into it so obviously the stock market has gone up quite a bit and like i said the first thing you want to do is not panic now realistically the stock market is closed on monday for the us side of it and um, so we that's a good thing because you probably have people brew over the weekend what's gone on and uh, we'll see what happens where the stock market opens up on tuesday Personally, I would love to see it go down a little bit more and that will bring some better opportunities to buy. But first of all, there's a lesson in here. So this is what I'm going to cover about a lesson, you know. First of all, the signs were here that we're going to have a pullback. You know, this is why I talked about last week. I was saying that I was selling a few of my stocks because they'd eventually gone up a bit too way, way too much. And people were getting quite a bit greedy. People were getting a lot of FOMO. You know, you got to work out them valuations and see where the stock market was. And it was clear to see the stock market was due a big, massive pullback. And that's why I've been banging on this channel the last kind of, you know, few weeks, few months. Talking about build up that cash pile because you'll get that opportunity. And if you haven't got FOMO, you're probably looking at this market now saying there's a few opportunities here to go buy some good companies at a bit of a discount. And you might even get them for a little bit cheaper yet. Yeah, I think there's a potential the stock market could go down maybe another five or five to ten percent like not huge and hopefully it won't go crazy up again you know we've been on a very good run you know the, the stock market shouldn't go up huge all the time and this is one thing why i always say in the stock market you know protect your profits you know until you actually sell them profits you can't actually get, take it for guarantee like i'm sure some of you guys were kind of looking at them positions going oh i'm up absolutely huge you look after thursday and friday you're looking at your stocks going Ah, oh, the, the profits have like halved. And that's what I say, you know, don't get like green eyes looking at your profits. Make sure you do some sort of protection, you know, maybe just, you don't have to totally sell out the stock market. And I say never totally sell out the stock market because, you know, if the stock market carried on going crazy, you would have totally missed out. But when it kind of gets to the valuations where you're like, this is a bit too much, there's nothing wrong with taking some profit off that table because right now you would have the opportunities to go get stocks at a bit of a better price. So like I say, when the stock market kind of goes up too much, that's always when I'm selling out, you know. I always go by the Warren Buffett quote, you know, be fearful when other people are greedy and be greedy when other people are fearful. And I've always gone by that. When the stock market goes up, I'm normally selling. When the stock market starts going down, that's when I'm normally buying. Doing the opposite of what's going on in the stock market seriously does pay off in the long term. It's what I always prefer to do. You, you know, you keep a lot of them profits, you get a lot of stocks at great prices. And like I say, for, for in general, for some of you guys, it might be a shock to the system. It might be a bit of a lesson, you know. It might have given you a bit of a slap on the wrist going, next time, when the stock market's in that position, don't get it too greedy. Protect your profit. Start building up that cash. And maybe, you know, when this happens again, 
you'll be in a better place to deal with it. If some of you guys have been doing the right things over the last few months, I'm sure you're kind of looking at the stock market now going, just go down a little bit more just to give them better valuations to go buy a few more stocks. So what's next is I would say generally try look at a game plan. Whenever the stock market got to a valuation like it has been for the last few weeks, I always say get a game plan. And a game plan is that when the stock market goes down, you start you note down a few stocks that you really want to get into. The stocks that have kind of gone up way too much, but you're like, I really love that company, just a bit too much to be paying for it. And you wanna note down a few of them stocks that you really wanna buy. And then when the stock market goes bang and it crashes, you know exactly which ones to go for. You know, you don't kind of get, you know, released into that sweet store and you're like, oh, I want that, 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 that. You know, you, you have your key stocks that you wanna buy. Also look at your valuations, look at what stocks have pulled back a lot. It's always good to look at where the stock market is and like say how much stocks have pulled off them 52 week highs, you know, which ones are close to 50 day moving averages, which are close to 100 day moving averages and kind of line up where you'd be willing to pay for them. You know, personally for me, I look at a few stocks and I'm like, I'd like to get them a little bit cheaper and that's fine if you don't want to buy them now. So for some of you guys that haven't got a mass portfolio build up, this might be one of your better chances. For some of the guys that have been in the stock market, for you know two three four years some of those guys have our core positions built up already and you know for some of us this isn't a massive opportunity but for some of you guys that have you know kind of got stuck in the stock market started buying a bit in covid and then bang it you know a lot of the cheap valuations have gone away and you're just kind of been sitting on your cash again not a little bad opportunities coming up to go buy them so like i say just pick out a few companies that you want to buy watch them see where they go and like i say I've kind of got my list and I'll go through the companies that I'm actually looking at maybe buying if the opportunities get to the right prices. So the next thing is what will I buy and where will I be buying them? So overall, like I say, I think this is a good chance where you kind of can buy some smaller companies, but you know, your big blue chip companies, your key holders in your portfolio. So for me, that's like Facebook, Microsoft. Sometimes these opportunities don't come along that often in these sort of stocks. I'm looking more to build up my core positions than my smaller positions, but Saying that, there's still some good opportunities in them small positions out there. For me, I'm looking at the stock market and I'm kind of hoping it drops another five to 10%. So I'm kind of willing it to drop down a little bit. So we'll see what happens. But personally, if I didn't own Dropbox, I probably would have bought this one. If I didn't own Huya, I probably bought that one. I still might buy them. Um, but I'm kind of, like I said, I'm looking at more of my big positions to build into right now on this drop. So I'm kind of looking at Google. Google's really tempted me. It is kind of a bit more of a better valuation. I think it's like a 34p ratio. The stock has kind of pulled off 52 week highs. I love to get it into the 1400 ranges and that's where I'd be tempted to buy a bit of Google. My other one that I'm looking at is Tesla. If Tesla can get about below 350, that'll be a very interesting stock for me to go buy. And I'd say the other one is Square, but I think that just needs to come down a little bit more for me to be tempted into Square. But overall, like I say, I won't panic too much, guys. We've been on a good run. And like I say, I think for this one, it's a bit more of a lesson more than anything. You know, if you've done the right things and you took your profit, you're probably like cheering for this pullback and wanting the opportunities. If some of you guys kind of got a little bit carried away with the stock market going up, I, I saw one guy that bought Tesla pretty much at 52 week highs. And they're down like, I think they bought 5K of Tesla, five grand of Tesla. And they're like down one grand on their position on Tesla right now. And it just shows, you know, be careful what you're paying for. You know, if you were buying at them 52 week highs, maybe it was a bit of a wake up call about, you know, the stock market does go down and you've got, got to be, you know, looking at companies and thinking, am I paying way too much for this? Are people going to actually buy this stock after me? And that's what you've always got to be wearing up. So like I say, overall, I won't panic too much. I think there's a chance the stock market goes down a little bit more from here, but I won't say it's going to go back to COVID lows. And like I say, get your, you know, your, your shopping list ready, what stocks you want to buy. Personally, for me, I won't be buying just yet at these prices. I am hoping the stock market drops about another 5 to 10%. Then you might see me buying potentially Google and Tesla are probably my two targets right now. But I'll let you know uh, if I am going to be buying them. I'll probably make a video about it. And if you want up-to-date information about the stocks that I am buying, when I'm selling my stocks, like when I sold Microsoft, uh, JD, Alibaba, and I took that profit off the table, which is looking like a pretty good move right now. If you want to know when I'm doing them sort of stuff, guys, I've got my Patreon in the link below. And like I say, I always post on there when I'm buying, when I'm selling. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some information about what to do right now. And like I say, don't panic too much, guys. We've been on a good run. 
and hopefully you know the stock market goes down a little bit and we get some little bit of a better buying opportunity because like i said the stock market always goes up in the long term and uh you know even if you buy stocks in 52 guys yeah sure it kind of sucks that you're down and you could have bought it at better valuations but you probably get back on them positions in the long run so don't worry to worry too much about it anyway so guys that's the video for today if you can smash that like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next one